La gente me la 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 Charlie, Charlie, ¿eh? 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 Charlie, ¿eh?
गुड इवनिंग Hola, buenas noches, teacher. Buenas noches, compañeros. Hello, people. How are you today? I am fine. And you, teacher? Good, good. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Blue. Blue moon. I need to see. ¿Qué tal de weekend? Weekend is a uh, beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. En fiestado, teacher. Oh. Yo. Yes. In English, what is what do you in, say in fiestado? In a party. <laughs> Pareado, apareado, cabal. <laughs> my wife, my wife is uh, a half the graduation in, in the university. Celebrate with her, her, with she. Excellent. Very good. Uh, I do Hello. Great. Congratulations, partner. 
Thanks very much. <laughs> okay, people, let's get started. Start with the first attendance of the evening. Please turn on your cameras and respond, okay? Let's start with... You can respond. Ana Celia Mena. Present. Medio presente. <laughs> okay. Welcome. Ana Maria Marcela Siu. Present. Ana Maria Marcela Siu. Yes. <laughs> Andrea Carolina Ortiz. Oh, no. Present. Hey, welcome. Blanca Isabel Blanca. Presente. Teacher. Hey, welcome. Diana Vanessa López. Present. Hey, welcome. Edgar Eduardo García. Present, teacher. Maritza Gómez. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Fernando. Present. Okay. Gerson Orlando de Odanes. Present. Okay. Gerson. Ten minutes at the end of the class are with you tonight. Glenda Margarita Ortiz. Present teacher. Welcome. Irma Mercedes Flores. Presente. Iván Alberto Castillo. Iván Alberto. Alexander Escobar. Present teacher. Hey. Jocelyn Angelina Ramirez. Present. Good. Manuel Alberto Mena. Miguel, Miguel Ángel Romero. Present teacher. Oscar René Molina. Present teacher. Y Rafael Antonio Martínez. Present teacher. Hey, welcome. Raúl Enrique Campos. <laughs> Mr. Campo, ¿por qué nunca recuerdo? Rodrigo Enrique Hernández. Present. Ana Lisette Pérez. Never showed up. Y Josué Balmore Cruz. Ok, very good. Well, last class we finished talking about this. Okay. Last class, we started lesson three, where we Added expressions to state urgency or commands. Work on this activity, this text, and re 
respond to these questions and sentences as false or true. Now, then we have a short, very, very short conversation using these expressions to state urgency. Expressions to state or express urgency. Now this really need that memo, please. Mr. Mama, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. Very important, right away. Well, the two expressions we learn to state urgency are, it's very important and I really need. Then we have this text or this email with some activities that Guadalupe needs to do. Okay. The idea is that you have to read the email and organize the activities by importance. You have to organize Guadalupe's activities by importance. What is the most important activity to the maybe the least important activity? So that's the idea. First, you have to organize four activities of the text. Which one is first? Which one is second? which one is third and which one is fourth. Let me read the email first and I'm going to record the, the uh, reading here in WhatsApp, okay? So give me a second. Okay, I'm going to read the email. From Daniel Ruiz at Travers.com. The subject is very important tasks for this month. Dear Guadalupe, these are some of the tasks for this month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it three hours each day. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog information for June. You have two days to do it, one hour each day. It's very important to send the two latest sales reports on May 26th and write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it, four hours. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it, two hours each day. Organize your week. Thank you. Best regards, Daniel Ruiz. Okay, that is the email. I'm going to put you in, in pairs or in groups to complete the exercise. So you have to write in order what activity must be done first. ¿Qué actividad debe de hacer Guadalupe primero? ¿Qué va de second? ¿Qué va de third? ¿Qué va de four? Okay. So let me form the groups. A ver, tenemos dos participantes. Están todavía en el trabajo. Okay. 
¿Está clara la actividad? Yes. Yes, it's okay. priority uh, organization. Yes. yes, organize, organize. activities. Mm -hmm. Okay, go to your groups, please. I will give you 10 minutes, around 10 minutes to complete the exercise. Together.
primera Dice serie, la primera Number serie Steer. First, the first three potential customer in the list from Mr. Sanchez. Esa yes, es la primera. Of sí. You y have three segunda. days to do. Esa es la segunda. Entonces la primera no falta. La tercera. Ahí las he señalado. Para mí, esta sería la segunda. Enviar los vale. dos últimos. El very important. Hay que poner la fecha también, que aparece. Y lo creo que no. Sí. Está ahí. Uh -huh. Lucen. Ah, ¿por qué? Miren, aquí voy a puesto. Sí. De... Lates Sun Report. Ok. Sí, porque hay creo que esto. Lates Sun Report. Ok, entonces, first, Guadalupe needs to send to the two ladies.
Okay, people, I like to see work. Please write in the chat what, what you think is the first activity we have to do. What is the first activity? Order. Write number one in the chat, please. First activity is then the two latest cells before. Why? why? Why do you think that is the first thing? Thank you, Zulu Primero. Because she has one day to do it and for Mama. hours. Mama, don't The, the order is clear, teacher. Need you contact the first three potential customer in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have a new two days to do. Si no, lo va a hacer desde su casa, le digo. I agree with you. I agree with you. Look. 
for the people But as you said, she had three days on the first day. In order of importance, maybe it's not the first thing. I'm going to write the answer. She said that the first thing is. Because the list, the order is in order of importance. Yes. Para otros, need the first three potential customers in the list. You know. Yes, because uh, si, si, hablamos por, por, si hablamos por tiempo, no tiene mucho tiempo en cuanto a hacer un reporte. Solamente tiene un día. Sería como prioritario. No sé. You receive this email. ¿Qué harían primero? What would you do first? The report. Send the two latest sales report. Send the reports. The second, what is the second activity important? Call the new clients for the last three weeks. Call the new clients. Yes, teacher. Yeah, in order of importance or priority. Visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. Finally, the contact the first three potential customers. Okay, no problem. Okay. Now, let's take a look at this lesson four. Well, uh, from this lesson, salvemos el, estas frases, no? It's very important and I really need our expressions we use to stay in okay? From lesson four.
this topic. Solo para ya. Cuando hablamos de los imperatives. Eh, pues los mencionábamos to give instructions, to give orders. Okay, just let me share this information about imperatives. Okay. We use imperatives to give an order. For example, keep quiet. Tidy up your room. We give an order, okay? We use imperatives to make requests. Request es una solicitud, cuando estamos solicitando algo, pidiendo algo. Give me some sweet, please. Please come quickly. Que mencionábamos esto, que el please al final siempre va separado por un Give me some sweet. No. Please come quickly. Cuando pedimos algo, we use imperatives. We also use imperatives to give instruction. Turn the lever clockwise. Tira la palanca en, en dirección de las manejas del reloj. Clockwise. Disconnect the power supply. Conecte la fuente de energía instructions to give advice para dar alguna recomendación algún consejo drive carefully maneja con cuidado take a taxi on taxi okay so these are different uses for imperatives okay Algo que tenemos que eh, saltar when we use imperatives es que no hay un subject. ¿Lo ven? Generalmente no, es, no hay un sujeto. Porque el sujeto es lo que se conoce como un sujeto tácito, está implícito. ¿Okay? No hace falta. O sea que ahí, teacher, eh, tenemos que aprender a diferenciar lo que es una orden, un requerimiento, una instrucción oh, y una... ¿Cómo se llama la otra? La última. No sé. Algo así. Ajá, avisar. Solo para mencionarles los casos en que se usaba. Algunos momentos, algunas situaciones. Hay instrucciones que son órdenes, hay instrucciones que son. La palabra please la hace más. <ríe> Suave. Ok, ahí les dejo el cuarto ese. Ok. Let's continue then with. Lesson four. People. Uh, Teacher, Edgar, 
Teacher, fíjense que se le escucha como cortado la, la conversación cuando está allí eh, enseñándonos. Oh, ¿Qué será? ¿Qué será? ¿Qué será? Micro. Se le escucha como interferencia del micrófono, algo así. Ahora, ahora, ¿cómo está? One, two, three, one, two, three. Ahí, ahí se oye correcto, bien nítido. Está. Esperemos que haga. Ok, so in this lesson we are going to learn how to express obligations or needs. Obligations or needs at the workplace. Ok. Let's read this conversation. Let me read it and record it for you. I'm going to record the conversation here. Okay. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, there you are. One more time, listen. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, now let's practice. Repeat after me, please. Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Repeat, repeat. Yes, actually I need to call some clients. And you? Yes. 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 yes, yes, actually, yes. I need to call some clients. Some clients. Some clients. Some clients. You? Call yeah. some clients and, you? and you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Well, well I, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. Meeting for tomorrow. Meeting they tomorrow. were canceled they today. Were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Ooh, oh, that's, that's too, bad. too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. Yes, yes I, I have, have to provide, provide important information, information to some customers. Some, some customer. That sounds interesting. That, that sounds, sounds interesting. interesting. Okay, very good. Now I am John and you are Anne, okay? Yes. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. yes. Actually, yes. I need to call some clients. clients. And, and you? Well, I have to reschedule meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, oh that's, that's too bad. bad. Too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds sound interesting. interesting. Okay. Now you are John. You begin. One, two, three. Um, yeah. um, is there, is there, is there something, something you tomorrow? need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, well, I have to I had to rest to to do to meeting tomorrow. Meeting from tomorrow. Today. They were canceled today. 
Oh, that's bad. Yes, yes, I have, I have, to, have to provide important information to some customers. Customer. That sounds interesting. Okay. Well, let me see this word. Listen. Reschedule. 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 Yeah. Reschedule. 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 Yeah, correct. What is reschedule? Reagendar. Reagendar. Reprogramar. Correct. No, reschedule. <coughs> ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Res. Reschedule. Reschedule. Your. You. you reschedule. Okay. Gracias. Repeat. <laughs> repeat. <laughs> Elga, no. repeat, please. Ay, que se oye así como res, res que. Pero es que yo jur le oigo al, al teacher. Sí, es que bien. Yo. Yo. Creo que la lengua la tenés que hacer hacia adentro para que se haga ese sonido. Ok. Dale, Juan. <risa> Dale, Edgar. Pero con que la la lengua. Eh. Cabal. <risa> El libro no, 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 Que no se te vaya a hacer nudo ahí. Ya, no veo. Esta palabra. Interesting. Interesting. Vean no para la fuerza. In. Interesting. 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 No, me están no. haciendo dos, dos acentos. No, solo es uno. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Correct. Interesting. Ok. Muy bien. Dude. <laughs> Let's practice. <laughs> Now you are going to practice this conversation. Ok. I'll give you time. Let me form the, the pairs. Now you're going to work in pairs to practice that conversation. Let me see. Luego. Ok, creo que todos están para trabajar y las dos señoras ya las dejé juntas. Ok, go to your group, please. Vamos a ver. Si alguien queda solo, ya lo muevo. Go to your groups. Tatuaje digna, hombre. Compórtese. <laughs>
is being recorded. Okay, welcome back. I'm going to take the second attendance. So please, cameras on. Okay. And Celia Mena. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Maria Marcela Siu. Present. Perfect. Andrea Carolina Ortiz. Present. Okay. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Present. Okay. Diana Vanessa López. Present teacher. Good. Edgar Eduardo García. Present teacher. Ok. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present, teacher. Good. Gerson Orlando de Odanes. Present. Ok. Glenda Margarita Ortiz. Hola. Bueno. Present. Ok. Irma Mercedes Flores. Present, teacher. Good. Iván Alberto Castillo. Uh, Johnny Alexander Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez. Present. Ok. Manuel Alberto Mena. Miguel Ángel Romero. Present teacher. Ok. Oscar René Molina. Present teacher. Good. Rafael Antonio Martínez. Present teacher. Ok. Raúl Enrique Campos. Rodrigo Enrique Hernández. Present. Ok. Ana Lizette Pérez y Josué Balmore Cruz. Ok, very good. Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I like to hear your conversations, okay? So let's see, let's see the groups. Okay, let's start with Diana, Vanessa, and Johnny. Please present the conversation. Ready? Yes, I'm ready, teacher. Okay, action. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually need to call some, some clients and you. Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thanks. Now, please, Miguel, Angel, and Rodrigo. Ready? Ready. Action. Um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? 
Perdón. Yes, actually I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They are canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. Okay, very good. Now, please, Edgar and Glenda. Ready? Um, um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you? Well, I have I have to reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, tax to bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That song interesting. Okay, very good. Now please Herson and Rafael. Ready? Gerson and Rafael. Teacher, compañero, no está. Estoy. <laughs> ya apareció. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who do you want to be? Comenzar. Okay. Um, is there something do you you need to do? Tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important, important information to some customer. That sounds interesting. Okay, very good. Now, please, Blanca and Fernando. Ready? Yes. Action. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. Well, I have to reschedule you to meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay. Now, please, Marcela and Oscar. Okay. Teacher, so, teacher, se me desactivó la, la, la yeah. cámara. No sé qué le pasó. Oh. Ahí le mandé una foto porque... No sé, aparece un mensaje que no, no sé. Okay, okay no problem. Okay. Okay. No, pero lo puede, lo puede ver ahí. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, And, solo la, la cámara, no. no puedo. Get ready. And, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some time customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, very good. Now, uh, um, Andrea and Jocelyn. Okay. And um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay, very good. Now, oh. 
let's see some words again. Well, this one actually, actually. What is the meaning of actually? Now. Ahorita, actualmente. No. Now, teacher. No. Actualmente. Actualito. No existe. No. <laughs> Actualizar. No. This Actually, is today. No. Actualmente. No. En el, mo en el momento. No. Me doy. Realmente. Es en ah, realidad. Ajá. Realmente, realidad, de hecho. That is lo vieron en el traductor, teacher. Ah, ¿por qué lo vieron en el diccionario, teacher? Es que por eso es herramienta. <risa> funciona, ¿Para funciona. Para que no lo usan, pues. <risa> y que se oye como que si, se oye como que ah. si supiéramos, va. <risa> hey, teacher, excuse Hola. me. Pero Hola. es que yo, yo entendía que esa palabra era actualmente, o sea, actualmente, es, en este momento, algo así lo, lo comprendía yo, esa palabra. No. Ok. No. Uh, the reality. <risa> Estas son palabras que son parecidas al español, pero que no significan lo mismo. Uh, varias palabras. Cosas del inglés. No, sí. No. Como por ejemplo, si yo les dijera qué significa esta palabra. Y en el chat se la escribo. Como vergonzoso. Ah, avergonzado. Embarazoso. No quiere decir embarazado. Ah. 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 Y así hay muchas otras palabras que pueden. Entonces, actually, no es como decir de hecho o realmente, en realidad. Ah. Eh, eso significa. Es como que ustedes me, me preguntaran, oh, teacher, are you free tomorrow? ¿Está libre mañana? Y yo les digo, actually, I have to work. De hecho, tengo que trabajar. En realidad, tengo que trabajar. Ok. Actually. Luego, esta que todavía por ahí a algunos les costó. Oh, reschedule. Reschedule. Así que si buscamos. Ay. Quiero ver si nos da la pronunciation. American pronunciation. US. No creo que estoy con el audio de inglés. Aquí está de nuevo. Escuchen. Reschedule. I am. Reschedule. That's American English. Reschedule. Reschedule. Solo para que vean el, la diferencia con el British English. Reschedule. 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 ¿Cómo es? Reschedule. 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 Ah, es, que, es que en el británico lo estábamos diciendo nosotros. <laughs> <laughs> Reschedule. Así es que quedémonos con el American. Reschedule. 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 Ahí está ya. Ya está grabada ahorita. Ahí está. <laughs> A ver, pues usemos las herramientas. Sirve. Ok. Mm, ¿Qué otra? Ah, bueno, esta. 
No es canceled. Oh, no sé si en, esta, en, este, en este módulo vemos el simple pass, pero solo como un mentioning. Ninguna, cuando los verbos en pasado, los verbos terminan en ed, ninguno se pronuncia así ed. Este, en este caso, la pronunciación de esta ed es un d. Cancelled. Cancelled. Yeah. They were cancelled. Cancelled. Okay. They were cancelled today. Uh, otra, bueno, algún, la mayoría la pronunciaron bien, alguno por ahí le raro. Customers. Customers. Ok. Eh, otra. Provide. Provide. Ok. Some pronunciation. Then um, we have a question here. How do John and uh, how do Anne and John express their obligations? How do Anne and John express their, their obligations? What phrases, what words do they need to um, need, and need to she need she need to, to do uh -huh. need to Need to do tomorrow. Uh -huh. Necesita hacer algo mañana. Y have to. Have to. Okay, we use these expressions to state obligation. To talk about our obligations. I need to, I have to, so obligation. Okay. Verbs to express obligations or needs. Have to and need to. Have to and need to. They are similar, okay? So different ways to say the same thing. For example, I have to prepare a document for my boss. Or I need to prepare a document for my boss. So, teacher, mm -hmm. las dos se pueden usar, eh, digamos, en, en el mismo caso, o digamos, eh, una es como, es que no sé cómo explicarme. O sea, si la, yo sé que tal vez no significan lo mismo. Porque mm -hmm. no significa lo mismo, pero si sí se pueden usar como para lo mismo. Yes. Se pueden usar indistintamente. Mm -hmm. To talk about your obligation. Okay, tomorrow I have to go to uh, a meeting. Tomorrow I need to go to a meeting. Tomorrow I, or today I have to visit three clients. Today I need to visit three clients. So it is the same. Okay? No problem. Thank you. Any other question, people? Okay, now you have to write about something you have to do or you need to do these days, maybe this week. Tell me uh, at least two, two activities or two things that you have to do or you need to do this week. Okay, for example, this is me. 
I have to evaluate some students for the morning class. Okay, when? On Friday morning. What time? At 8 a.m. Where? On the online class. So if I write a sentence, I would say, well, write it here. If Fred on Friday morning, I have to or need to evaluate some students for my morning class. Okay? Friday morning, I have to, or I need to evaluate some students for my morning class, students. That's me, one activity, you know, for example. Another activity could be, uh, this week, I have to or need to go to a job interview for a new work. Okay, so I want you to write two sentences about you. When you finish, please raise your hand. Write two sentences about two obligations you have for this week.
teacher, perdón, eran dos, dos oraciones, ¿verdad? Yes. Con need o need o or have to. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. When you finish, raise your hand, please. Okay, I will send you to working groups. And please talk about your responsibilities and obligations. Read your sentences to your classmates, okay? Go to your groups and share your sentences. See you in five minutes.
meeting is being recorded. Okay, now tell me your obligations or your your activities, uh, the activities that you have to do or you need to do this week. So let's start with a Margarita. Okay. Um, compartimos con el compañero Miguel y la compañera Marcel. Y nos faltó tiempo para escuchar lo del cuarto compañero. Bueno. Okay, but tell me about you. Okay. Miguel. Um, no, have... you. Ah, perdón. Okay. Eh, sería, I need to schedule your training. Y la segunda, I need to visit all ulcer clinics. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Let's continue with Rodrigo. Hi, teacher. On the Monday, I have to write a news report. Two. Two. Uh, on Friday, I have to come in the park. <laughs> okay. okay, Oscar. Okay, ready. On Saturday, I had to take the machine, no, excuse me, the washing machine to be repaired. Oh. And number two is on Friday, I had to process the payment of many suppliers. Ah, okay, very good. Edgar. From Monday, to Friday, I had take English classes at night. Uh, second, on the weekend, I need to go to the supermarket. Okay, very good. Miguel. The other week, I have to go to Social Security for a medical appointment at 7 a.m. at Santa Ana in Suraj. With that? Okay. Yeah. Uh, every day I have to talk with doctors about nutritional products. And I need to complete the planning about my routines. Okay, very good. Blanca. I need to write an email to my clients. I have to deliver financial report this week. Okay. Good. Okay, Diana. Okay. I need a good idea about my project. I have to take a wake up early in the morning. Okay. Uh, Jocelyn. In, on Wednesday, uh, in the middle of the day, I have to send a report uh, by email. And on Friday at 2 p.m., I have to pay to the suppliers in the bank online. Okay. Uh, Marcela. Uh, on Tuesday, I have to gather the doctors at dinner at 7 p.m. at Pampa Argentina. 
And the second, I need to sell product all month. Okay. Person. I have to finish a new develop. Second, I need to give a presentation Friday. Okay. Ando. Uh, I have to prepare the sales report for Friday. And I need to update the data, como se dice el teacher. ¿Qué cosa? Data. Data de datos. Yeah, data. Uh, data. I need to update the data in the system. Okay. Johnny. Hi. On Friday morning, I have the presentation inventory, computers, and licenses the operating system. On Wednesday morning, need to check in Office 365 or management of tenant, the tenant. Okay. And Rafael. On Tuesday at 8 a.m., I have to go to Orient of the country. The, this week, I need to finish the audit of the hands. Okay, very good. Just let me show you something. Just... Okay, when we use have to, I have to up in here okay i have to write a report i need to uh, send some emails. Okay, what I want you to observe is first, we only use two. Yeah, I have to, I need to, And the other thing I want you to observe is that we use the base form of the verb. So we use this, when we, when we talk about an obligation, we use a verb, okay? I have to write a report. I need to send some emails. We use the verb in present. Uh, in, the, in the base form. Now, if I need to talk about another person, for example, uh, Mario. Okay, you tell me. How or has to uh, call or calls the client. Okay, what is the correct form? Mario, Mario. have to or Mario has to? Has Mario, to. Mario has to. Okay, Mario has to call or calls? Calls. Calls. Declines. Calls declines. Call declines. Call. Calls. I think it's call. Ah, call. Yes, call. yes. Call. Is call. Okay. Mario has to, to call. call. 
Observe. Ya hicimos aquí la third person singular. Ya la hicimos aquí. Ya no hace falta hacerla en el verbo. Mario has to call the client. Okay. Pero tampoco no se puede hacer al revés, ¿verdad? No puede poner Mario has calls. How to calls. Ajá, al revés. Ok. Como regla es. Sara has to write the letter. Okay. This is the correct one. Sara has to write the letter. Okay. Or need. She needs to visit the clients. She needs to visit the client. Okay? Third person singular. Um, any question here, people? Uh -huh, Rodrigo. Teacher, yo tengo una duda. Yo sé que por, bueno, puedo andar de travieso. Eh, ya, ya hice la homework de este día. Ajá. Pero lo que pasa es que en la plataforma no deja pasar si uno no pone el que en teoría tendría que hacer. Pues a mí me quedó la duda porque usted dice que significa lo mismo, ¿verdad? Have to, I need to. Pero en la plataforma tiene que ser exactamente la que la plataforma dice. Por ejemplo, ah, okay. tiene que ser have, tiene que ser need to. A mí lo mismo me pasó. Por eso preguntaba también. Yeah. Porque a veces yo pensaba que podía ser need y era has. Y me la ponía mala. Pero eso ya es cuestión como han programado el ejercicio. O lo hayan programado. Bueno, bueno, y sí, porque yo tenía esa duda que me quedó. Pues, ah, igual yo entendía que casi que era lo mismo, ¿verdad? Pero, bueno, como la plataforma no me dejaba pasar, me quedó la, la, la duda, ¿verdad? pero son cosas que podemos hacer en usar para el ejercicio lo han diseñado así ahí sí porque no lo pueden poner que dos sean las correctas de hecho que sí usted puede usted puede programar puede. así usted le programa le pone las dos posibles respuestas Ah, en uno encontré yo que decía, o todas las anteriores, algo así. No, me refiero que cuando usted pone las posibles respuestas a, a un ejercicio, usted le pone. A un, ah, o decía, o ninguna de ellas, algo así decía. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Bueno. Ella hey, es hora. Ya, yeah, ahí está. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about the negative form of this. Para decir, por ejemplo, yo no tengo que escribir un reporte. Ella no tiene que escribir un reporte. Ok, se los dejo de tarea, piénsenlo y mañana lo vemos. Cuando hablar de cosas que no son mi obligación. No tengo que, no necesito que. Lo vemos mañana. Ok. Let's take the last attendance of the evening. Ana Celia Mena. Present. Ok. Y chicos, recuerden las tareas y el examen de medio curso. Ana María Marcela Siu. Present. Okay. Andrea Carolina Ortiz. Present. 
good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Present. Okay. Diana Vanessa López. Present. Okay. Edgar Eduardo García. Present teacher. Good. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Present teacher. Okay. Gerson Orlando de Odanes. Present. Good. Glenda Margarita Ortiz. Present teacher. Okay. Irma Mercedes Flores. Uh, eh, Iván Alberto Castillo. Johnny Alexander Escobar. Present teacher. Ok. Jocelyn Angelina Ramírez. Present. Uh, Manuel Alberto Mena. Present. Ok. Miguel Ángel Romero. Present. Ok. Oscar René Molina. Present. Good. Rafael Antonio Martínez. Present. Ok. Raúl Enrique Campos. Rodrigo Enrique Hernández. Present. Ok. Y José Valmore Cruz. Ok, people, eso sería todo por hoy. Por favor, las tareas y el examen de medio tiempo para mañana ya debe estar terminado todo eso. Ok, oh, good, good night, night people. Good See night. Tomorrow. Gracias, teacher, por la tomorrow. clase. Feliz good noche night. a todos. Ok, me quedo con Gerson. Hola, Gerson. Hola. ¿Estamos? Sí. Bueno, estos minutos son por si tienes alguna duda, algo que quieras aclarar, reforzar. Sí, eh, la única duda que tenía era con respecto a HAP2 y NIP2. HAP2 entonces sería como la obligación y NIP2 también sería como una obligación, aunque en español sería como necesito. ¿eh? Sí. Uh, y en este caso cuando... Eso sería como únicamente para hablar en tiempo futuro, no sería como en el presente continuo. La forma have to y need to es, eh, de hecho, es presente. Sí. Tengo que, necesito. Uh -huh. sí, y en todo y... caso, si quiero usar en pasado, como dice, yo necesité hacer esto, ¿cómo sería? El pasado de have to o de need to. I needed to. I had to. Yo tuve que. Sí. Ejemplo, tuve que comprar. ¿Qué cosa? No, I had to buy a, a new cell phone. Tuve que comprar un nuevo celular. I had to buy a new cell phone. Yo necesito de comprar otro celular. I needed to buy a new cell yeah. Lo que va cambiando es el have o el need. Sí, eh, creo que solo eso era mi duda. Ok. Perfecto, entonces. Bueno, muchas gracias. ¿Cómo vamos con las tareas. Eh, hoy pienso finalizarla porque sí, no, he, estado, he estado bastante corto de tiempo. Dale, pues. Sí. Bueno, buenas noches. Bueno, good night. Muchas gracias. Good night. Bye bye.